Yo, so somebody asked me, if you only had $50 to your name, how would you flip it? How would you grow it? So the first thing I would do is I would come here to compounddaily.org and I would do me a compound plan. All right. So you want to put your initial price, $50, daily interest, 5%. All right, term, 60 days, so I'll give myself like two months. Uh, you reinvest 100%, and I don't trade on weekends, so we're not doing that. And in two months, your $50 will turn into $933.98. All right, so you come down here. It says that the first trade that you need to make, I mean, the first amount you need to make is $2.50. Very simple, all right? So now we just find a setup, all right? This particular trade here, this is... Uh, Euro USD. Let's go to Chef. See if Chef looking like anything. Uh, it's looking a little choppy in and out. All right, so I would need to see if they have any more. Now, me personally, I wouldn't trade OTC as far as like growing my small account. You can because it does work great as well if you know how to do it, and plenty of people have done it. I'm just talking about me personally. Um, if this is all I had, I don't want no manipulation. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, maybe if I had a little more to spend and cool, that's a different story. But me personally, I'm going in for the three dollars right quick. But me personally, I don't want to uh risk my trades not going in profit from something that pocket options did. You dig? So I'd rather just trade the regular forex pairs and keep it solid like that. All right, so the reason why I got into this particular trade is that you can see the stochastic is starting to curve. It's actually pretty low. Uh, starting to curve up. We're on an uptrend, and we already got our little pullback. Zigzag form here this way, letting me know eventually we're going to have to have a zigzag up here. Now, as far as losses go, because people ask me this, they say, okay, so if you got on, if you want a compound plan, and let's say you lose, how much would you lose before you stop? Now, you said that yourself. You can say, I only want to lose $5, $6, $7, $8, whatever. Let's just say ours is, you know, $5, $6, maybe $7, you know what I'm saying, for a loss. Uh, so you got to set that just so you know, okay, look, if I lose $6, I got to be done for the day. All right. Or you could set it to the same amount, like, if you know, $250. But from there, then you just start fresh the next day if, if that's the case. But I'm starting at the gate three dollars because let's try to get this profit out the way early, you know, unless they want to play. But this is actually not a good first of all, this is a Friday that I'm doing. I'm just doing this as an example. But I wouldn't be trading on a Friday. Uh, I would only be trading on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. And then also I wouldn't be trading at this time because right now it's at eleven twenty-eight in the afternoon. I mean, uh in the morning, I guess, until twelve. But my normal times of trading is like early. Uh, six in the morning, stuff like that. So these are the times I would not be trading, honestly, but I just wanted to do this as an example video. Okay. So, so far, look like we might be good. Yeah, we got the push we deserve. Four, three, two, one. Boom. All right, we got it all. Boom. So now the account now is at $53.00. Boom, now I'm done for the day. Now, that's going to be the toughest part for you, all right, is to be done because you're going to see more setups. You're going to see, you know, stuff going on in the market, news about the hit. You want to do all this fancy stuff. But the whole goal with this compound plan is to have some discipline and some structure, all right? So you need to make sure you stick to it. So now you got to be done. Simple as that, all right? Then you come back the next day. And your target is $2.63. And you just stick to that over a long period of time. And you will be fine. All right. So you got to make sure your setups is there. You got to make sure it's high probability. Uh, some days in the market just ain't good. So you got to get good to identify what days ain't good or what day. Because some day it might be a good day. So you might be trading on a Tuesday. But Tuesday just whack for that day. You know what I'm saying? We've had days like that, like where we on a Tuesday and they feel like it's a Friday or something because the market being weird. Um, so you got to just identify that kind of stuff. You got to identify like up here, like for instance, the market is choppy like this. All right. It's like, it's not really making big candles. It's just kind of consolidating. Let me just draw a box around it so you could visually see with your eyes. You see how all the candles are just in this tiny box? Right, 
consolidation. So you got to be able to identify that kind of stuff too and just say, okay, well, that's not a good pair because it's going to bounce around a lot. So if I get in here, potentially it could, you know, hit my entry faster, stuff like that. You want to look for stuff that's ranging pretty good, that's making real moves. Uh, but like right now, again, it's not a good time for me to be trading anyway because it is, uh, you know, almost 12 o'clock. And so I keep all that into mind. But whenever you grow in a small account, um, you just got to be patient and just know that, hey, we got a long-term goal. This ain't no get rich quick. Uh, now, if you, you want to go risky on your stuff, that's completely up to you. But I assure you, eventually you're going to blow that thing. Now, if you keep it conservative, you know. So in order for you to lose technically $50, then you would have to be doing crazy trades and you would have to be losing a lot. So if you did dollars only, like $1 trades, then you would have to have 53 losses in a row, uh, which technically probably will not be the case for you to lose the whole thing. Or you have to go outside your plan. So, yeah, you know, this is... You know, trading. This is what it looks like. And hopefully, you know, this video will allow you to get in there, grow you a little something, because you never know when you could be down to your last. Or that might just be all you got after you got paid $50. And you're like, look, I need to, you know what I'm saying, have a little extra income coming on in. You need to learn how to do this thing right. So this is what this is for. Uh, but hopefully, this video has helped you. You know, pay attention to your confirmations. Look at your stochastic, make it here as low or high. Right, make sure your zones is there, make sure you know the trend, make sure you're looking at the signals to see. All right, we got double arrows on this, so everything's lining up, and then you take that trade. If it doesn't go, that's fine. As long as everything lined up, you're good. Again, some days may be a good day to trade on, but the day just might not be good. The market might just still be moving weird. So sometimes it ain't you, sometimes it's just the market. You feel me? So it is what it is. I'm gonna holler at y'all in another video. Let's grow.